The last thing that I told a hater, baby, thank you for the motivation. Look, man, I'm really trying to motivate you. Celebrate when you know you made it. Don't worry, it ain't overrated. <laughs> I'm just trying to get you motivated. Simply lemonade, bottle full of mixed liquor. Y'all get on my nerves like a kid's sister. Do a couple deals, they want to get with you. Bye. Hold on, let's get it, let's get it. Let me see. Hold on, let me switch. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, okay. You yes. see my background? Yeah, I see it. I see it. You, you see me back here with the Chase Black. What's the word? Spit the verb. Vanny D on the yes. curb background. Where the hell did I put my eyes? I should have put my little green screen behind me. I got one downstairs. It just, you know. It's all good. Well, welcome to Interviews on Demand by Code 31 Zoom Edition. So today, guys, we have Vanny D on the air. This is a young lady, a media personality out of Ohio. Vanny, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Code 31 Media. I see you've been doing things, man. I'm honored to be here. And it's a pleasure to have you. So to our new fans that may not know about you and what you do, let's give them a little synopsis of who you are and, and what your company is bringing in 2020. Man, what's the worst bit the verb? It's Vanny D on the curb. I'm your favorite person's favorite person. And what I do is I push great talent. I push people to be great. That's what I do best. Now, I can rap, but I choose not to. I'd rather choose people who have the passion and push them to be get greater. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want people to grow. I want people to be better than they can be. I'm a believer in people who may not or may believe in self, you know, because you got to love yourself in order to love others. So, you know what I mean? I love watching things grow. And so when you see people around you and you see growth, it just, it motivates you. Well, okay. it does for me. I can't speak for it. It's everybody. a little glare. Like, how long, how long, how long? Yes, you like got like a glare. glare. You yeah, see I, know I need to get the Windex. I can see me. I see the glare though. Okay, that's, that's better though. That's better. Hit that light, Beta. Hmm. Hit that light. That uh, cellophane light. Yeah. Yeah, you dark now. Yeah, I know. I got okay. it. I, okay. I got it. In the dark, it's, it's it's cool. I ain't got. I got you, man. I got you. Okay. But, uh, uh, why are you calling me? Oh man, see, cause it's the uh, you know, I just touched my <laughs> iPhone. You feel me? <laughs> I wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to call. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Big homie, you feel me? But uh, yeah, um, I've been really doing the show called "What's the Word? Spit the Verb." And what? What's the word spit the verb mean? What's up? What's your action? What you going to do about it? Let's get this stuff going into fruition because I know that life and death is in the power of the tongue. So what I believe is that all together with unity, you and I, T-Y, that mean you and I try together. So if we put this thing together, then, hey, we can't do nothing but grow. It takes a village to raise a child. Okay, okay. I'm feeling that. Okay, so being that we are in this pandemic right now, being that we can't do the normal things like talk or communicate in person with the interviews and stuff, how are you? I mean, I know you have the platform on Station Head, but how are you reaching out to, you know, potential people that you want on your show now? The crazy thing is, is um, I tried to start my show last year around April. It didn't work out right. So it was like, you know, in God's time, things that happen. We want things to happen when we want them to happen, but they happen in due time. So October 6, 2019, I started my show, What's the Word? Spit the Verb. I had like 36 subscribers or whatnot. And okay. um, I was virtually doing the show. Like, I kind of never virtual, like really met, like, what's up, bro? Nobody it has been basically Instagram or station head, coast to mm -hmm. coast come up, you know, going to several different platforms, seeing music, shopping music, shopping myself, and also spreading their music along because I'm a music junkie. So mm -hmm. I've been doing virtual interviews like this via DM since my show started. So, so this is pretty much good for you. 
Yeah, it ain't really affecting me except I can't go to no show. I want to go to a show, you know. I want to be up there like, yeah, I'm on the stage, you know. You know, crowd check a little bit. That's what it is. That's what it is. So, um, if you had an opportunity now, because it seems like now during the pandemic, these artists and athletes or what have you are more accessible. Who would be your number one choice to reach out to now if you had access to interview them at this particular moment? Um, I would love to interview Missy Elliott, uh, MC Light, and um, even Lil' Kim. Because and what they- made you pick those three young ladies? What made me pick them is because uh, I believe that they were revolutionary to hip hop and that they were ladies that I look up to and that taught me the game, taught me how to be who I am. I would also love to interview Mia X because like she is like so slept on, nobody really give her her flowers and like that okay. girl rolled the beat like them is them some outstanding women in hip hop and seeing how they transform over 20 and 30 years of time, 40 yeah, you know I'm saying MC Light been doing this since the 80s. You feel me? Yeah. 70s. Just up there. Yep. Hey, you know what I'm saying? And then she she's basically the voice of all the black awards. Like you hear MC Light in the back mm-hmm. narrating it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And that's that's like the type of goal that I, I'm trying to get to the higher level. Like I if I could interview somebody because I feel my platform goes in the steps of theirs, I would say that it would be uh Don um Don Cornelius okay. because like they wanted him to like they wanted him to pay for his people. Like he like, nah, I ain't finna pay for the talent. Like I, you know what I'm saying? Like they live, like, you know what I'm saying? We giving them a platform, we giving them somewhere to go. Like this is the black blank blank blank. Like you know what I'm saying? And I feel like this is a void that we have in hip hop or in the black community because now you have to be that person up there on Capitol Hill in music in order to get a show, get put on the show of music streaming and you got Mm -hmm. raw talent. So I want to shed light on the underground and the people that are underdog because I've been an underdog my whole life. Okay. So because you said those three ladies, have you reached out to any of them? Uh, I've tagged them in different things, but I ain't reached out to them yet. And what is, what are you waiting for? I ain't waiting. They just you need to up. just go, let me tell you something. You need to just go ahead and do it because I reached out to some NBA legends and a few other people, and actually one of them responded. And actually, I'm supposed to be interviewing him today. So I'm telling you, you might be shocked that if you actually reach out, they might entertain you and be like, "Yeah, I'll do your interview," because they're sitting home doing nothing right now. You right. So any kind of publicity. And great publicity from somebody, you know what I'm saying, who looks up to them or whatever would be a good look. So, but from, from Cincinnati, I I wanna uh interview Gabrielle Dennis and Boosie Collins. Okay. Are they are they on social media? Uh yeah, I be I follow Gabrielle Dennis, you know. Uh she said, you know, she'd be willing to do it because I was on her live one day, you know. I want her to come back uh to Hughes Center because I'm an alumni of Hughes Center. She's an alumni of Big Red. And, you know, uh she played Whitney Houston in the Bobby Brown story, and also she played okay. Janae uh as uh Dorian girl baby mama on the game. So okay. like she got a big track record, but like, you know, and Boosie Collins, because he's the, he, man, he's one of the godfathers of funk, that sound, James Brown sound down, down here in King's Records over there in Evanston, like, you know what I mean? Like a legendary funk sound, like, mm-hmm. hey, so it's just that they put so much, like Cincinnati was on the map and mm-hmm. like we was known for where you came to get that funk. And when was the last time you reached out to her? When was she on her live last that you... Uh, Make. it was probably a week or so ago. I didn't follow up. I've been kind okay. of busy see, trying see. to. You slacking? Yeah, I'm slacking, but I've been reaching out to so many other people. It's just like you know, I don't know. But the key to this this media thing is like when you have a a lead or so so to speak with these people, and they actually say that they're gonna do something. You got to stay on top of them because it's probably for the moment. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. So you I, 
take advantage of that. During this pandemic, though, I I have to figure out how to organize it because, like, um, Hugh Center is not like we can't go to school, we can't be in large gatherings. So it's like, uh, why you can't zoom it right now and then follow up when we're able to do in person again? That's what I've been doing. Yeah, I I can. Yo, let's do the Zoom interview. All right, and I also have another outlet where I could do the the write up about you in Rare Royalty magazine, and then once the pandemic calms down and we're able to have social, I guess, communication again, then we can link up. Then you feel me? You you right. got a mind, so you could tell them we could do the Zoom interview, and then we could follow that up on Station Head on my podcast, where you can have a you know a, a bigger avenue. For me to introduce you to my my you know my program my audience and then as that builds up and the pandemic calms down and we get to meet face to face we already building our relationship to where we to until we meet in person that's how i've been doing it right built now while you're in the pandemic while they home and they have all this time and they're not too busy you're already building that rapport with them. You know what I'm saying? They get a comfort level. Okay, this person is cool. And we build in. And you put them on the different platforms that you have. And they say, okay, I see. You know what I'm saying? They really genuine with, you know, trying to really help me build on what I'm building as they're doing their own thing. And then when y'all meet in person, boom, that ice is already broken. And y'all have a relationship going. And y'all just continue from there. That's how I've been doing my own thing. So, right. Is there any anything else that you would like to cover? And um, what are your social medias? Um, you can f- Google me at Vanny D on the air, and all my social media pop up. But at Instagram is Vanny D underscore on the air. Uh, on YouTube, Vanny D on the air. You could type it together, or you can space it out. Uh, it'll still bring you to my page. You can, hey, go stream my single. What's the word? Spit the bird featuring Day Caught Me Dog out of Baltimore, Maryland. Very talented young and, man. And don't you have a YouTube as well? Yes, Vanny D on the air. Okay. And I also uh, follow WBPR on Instagram. Okay. Type in WBPR West Side Basement Party. Okay, and before you go, I tell all my guests to give me a drop for code hey. thirty-one. So hey, what's the word? Spit the verb. What's the word? Spit the verb. It's Vanny D on the curb, and you know I'm rocking with Coach D from Code Thirty-One. So hey, y'all check in, get them Code Thirty-One media interviews right here on YouTube. Drop it down. You know that your favorite fir- person's favorite person right here with Coach D. Code Thirty-One. Thank you so much. And uh, like I said, it's a pleasure to finally get to interview you, Vanny. You one of the real ones, one of the realest I know. I said, look, I had an opportunity today to interview one of my favorites, and I've done that. So now when I end my um, my interviews on demand on Zoom, this is my new ending, y'all. When I have a great interview, I say, swoosh. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah I took the edges. Day. I took them edges in. <laughs> Yo, my edges is good, man. I got that fresh cut you had. Hey, thank hey. you guys. It's been a pleasure. If you want to reach Coach D, Code Thirty One Media interviews on YouTube, Code Thirty One Media, and Code Thirty One Apparel on IG. DM me three one on Twitter and No Sale three one on Snapchat. Benny, it's been a pleasure. Thank you everybody for tuning in. To interviews on demand, Code 31 Media, Zoom edition. We are gone. You know it. <laughs> Later. <laughs>